this is this has got to be warning lights, sirens going off. I can't stay here against a top, a, a really good top rider. I got about five seconds before I end up in a place that I'm not going to recover from. So first things first, I got to focus on keeping what three? My wrists forever and always. I got to keep them out. So I'm going to get my elbows underneath me. It's kind of like I'm trying to do a push up with my elbows, and my wrists are going to go out. See how my chest goes up? Think about defending a little bit freestyle parterre, and it'll start to make a little bit of sense. When the guy's trying to get a low lock on me, I want to get weight down there on that low lock. Same thing I'm doing. Wrist outside, elbows in, similar to our parterre position. Now from here, I've got to clear my hips. When you're doing this, be conscious of your hands, because as soon as I start to wiggle, most of the time I see those wrists go inside, and as soon as I get my wrist down here, like I said, I got about a five count, and I'm going to be in bad shape. Hips are here, and you kind of got to freak out to get a hip clear. He's stalling, he's stalling. You're looking at the ref. You know whose fault it is for letting him stall? Mine. I got to work my butt out of here. So I'm going to wiggle forward, and I get a little bit of a forward crawl, but mainly it's a hip turn. It's like I'm punching the mat with my hip bones to get him off of me. As soon as I get a side clear, I don't know which way it's going to be. It could be this side. It could be that side. That knee's going to come up. As soon as I get a side clear to where he's not sitting on my hips, that knee's going to come up, and I'm going to push my knee through. I'm going to give you two options. Slide your knee through. Once I get about halfway, I can push back in off my elbow and come to a sit-out. I said push back, right? Because we want to attack those positions. Again, if you're one of those guys that just seems to have a problem getting sucked back, bring the knee up, slide the knee all the way underneath me, then immediately go to your sit out from here. It's a little bit safer, a little less likely that that guy's gonna pull you back. Then I'll go back into my sit out. So those are the two options. inside wrist. It's really, really tough, and it takes years to get disciplined enough to where you can do the whole thing without giving up your wrist. If he gets an inside wrist, roll that thing out. That's the reminder. That one's not bad, right? I can clear it easy. Which one's bad? Cross, one. cross wrist, right? This is the guy that's tough. So if, if he's going inside, that's my reminder. God, I gotta keep my wrists out. He's able to grab it. Keep those things free. One more time. Tight elbows too, guys. Yep. Tight as you can get. And keep them from reaching as much. So first things first, as soon as I'm on my belly, boom, good position. Now he can fight inside. It's really tough for him to get my wrists. Now I gotta punch, wiggle until I get my hips out. Little bit of forward motion, just a little bit. Don't try an army crawl, but it's mainly that hip wiggling my hips out. He gave me that side, that knee automatically comes up. I can either slide back through. To my sit out, you can tell that's my good side. Or knee comes up, slot under to my base, then get to my sit out. You can windshield wiper either way to push back to your sit, doesn't matter. Then wherever you want to go from there, I don't care. But build your base and get to your sit out. Any questions? <laughs>